welcome my genies are back on the Sims 4 Country Life and today is the first day of summer so Karina decides to bring her and the rest of the family on a vacation to Copperdale and this is one of the rental homes there originally it says there's four bedrooms but I did not see the fourth bedroom so I just made this area into a I guess the bedroom I just added the bed but otherwise I see three bedrooms so I have no idea if I miss I, I don't think it I checked everywhere and I'm not missing it. I don't <clears throat> think so. Anyway, are you excited? Uh huh. What you mad, honey? So, what is the first thing you want to do here, Karina? Well, we need to get settled in, and then of course everybody get their beds and. Me and Martine is staying downstairs. I wish there was a bathroom downstairs, but there's not. Sadly not. I mean, they gotta go all the way upstairs to get my bathroom water. Yeah, I know. Your morning water. Which you haven't gotten today. Oh, there's two sinks. There we go. <clears throat> and if you haven't seen the last episode, Agapito and Whitney went to prom together. And Agapito has a crush on Whitney now. And I thought that was so adorable. And I still think it's so adorable. Romantic interest. Whitney is impressed by Agapito's promposal. And he has a crush on her too. I don't know there's an option to say or to admit your crush on somebody. I mean, I know you can declare your love publicly, but I don't think that counts. I know oh, there's, there's a reveal crush, I know that. Yeah, I do that. I mean, I know Reveal Crush has been on there for a while, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. So Agapito is admitting to Whitney that he has a crush on her, and I think it went well. Dreamy eyes. Agapito's got his crush on his mind. I still think it shows its crush. So I don't think there's anything specifically where it says that you revealed your crush to somebody, so... I don't know. And would you enjoy your your morning water? It's good here. Can we swim or anything here? You can. I did not know. That's good. It's summer. Yeah, it's actually hot outside too. But I don't understand why you... Let's go swimming, guys. You want to? Then maybe we can come back and grill or something at the grill. Also, look, there's a fair. Ooh, that's cool. We could eat there, maybe. Yeah. There we go. Everybody's, I realize nobody's running anymore. Everybody's just walking. I don't know why that is. Ooh, the night. You want to be friendly with Martine? Who's calling? Oh, Father Winter. <coughs> it ain't. It ain't winter yet, honey. Close to the fair, you can go fishing here too. Maybe everyone wants to check out the fair food and stuff. What do you think, Karina? 
It's a good idea. Mm, my teen's flirty. Yeah, he is flirty. Can you not go very far in this water? Maybe not. Yeah, there's a certain area in the water you can go to. Go ahead and rope off for your protection. Yeah, because I see the logs right here. The great outdoors. Oh, Karina's getting out of the water. Where are you going, Karina? I'm hungry. <clears throat> oh, is everybody hungry? Who's calling Martin? Hi, I'm Ashton. Welcome to Copperdale. Lo I'd love to give you advice about the cool things to do around here, like hitting up Plum Bike Pier. <coughs> do you mind if I check over the next few days, seeing how you are settling in? Is that it? Wait, maybe you should put your hot water on. Which would make more sense? Siren Man! Hello, Siren Man! And look who else is here! I may do it. Hi, Eric! Hey, in the cat. Karina, what kind of bubble tea would you like to have? I think I'd take, um, mango. I think you're both hungry. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's some of them that are still in the water. <laughs> Why she changed back to her swimsuits? I, I don't think she changed yet. Yes, she did. She did now. <laughs> what do you think, Karina? It's delicious. What would you like to order? Betty slider, fried chicken slider, hamburger slider, or corn dog? Ooh, I want a corn dog. I haven't had one of them in years. Thank you. Yeah. You welcome. I make news. Mango, I wonder. Yeah, there. There's Caleb. Hey, everybody. He's serving ice cream. It's a hot day. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> 
Not really that hungry. Max of Benzi. Zonks of Benark. Elk of Bethetang. I gotta get, get my team some clothes. That man has no sense of fashion at all. I would say. Agapito's hungry too. Step it out. Yips. Wanush harfse kushpahinse. Badish. Kubane. Banuba. Ziglan. What do you think of the corn dog, Karina? It was very good. I enjoyed it. Oh, can you can't even eat anything. Unless she's starting to get hungry now. I should have ordered her a hamburger slider. You may not fill them up very much. Maybe. They're small, so. Alice is ordering ice cream. <laughs> They're the kid for you. <clears throat> She ordered chocolate. <coughs> oh, Whitney is playing guitar. Agapito's embarrassed. The crush nearby. Sometimes the crush brings out the insecurities of a sim. Aww. Agapito's insecure. The ice cream looks delicious, Caleb. Thanks. Karina, you want the ice cream? Yeah, I'm some strawberry. You can go and say hello to Caleb, too. <laughs> Amado and Kanika are going to go ahead and ride the Ferris wheel together. Thanks, Caleb. You're welcome, Miss Karina. I wish you could make these yourself, but I know that's because of the fair. Oh, Arthur's blowing his bubbles in the pop up purple. You wanna go to any rice, Karina? I like to ride the fence wheel with my team. You can also woohoo on the Ferris wheel. Let's do it. You think Claire's and nobody gonna see. Alright, go ahead and have fun. Oh, the kids can ride these too. <clears throat> I 
Alright, you two have fun. I, I guess both of you couldn't go before because Kanika and Amada were on there. What happens when they woohoo? I haven't oh, seen yeah. this yet. Alright, let's see. <laughs> Whitney loves that guitar. <coughs> you wanna ride the spooky ride, Karina? Shit. Who do you wanna ride it with? This guy with my teeth, he hated. I'm curious. Did you ever go woohoo? He was big in. Alright, let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm waiting for Ed to scream. Yeah. So I know how terrified Ed can be. It's not in there. I mean, you are in this game file, Ed. Yeah. Yeah. Agapino has decided he wants to talk to Whitney about the relationship and what better way to communicate a serious relationship than through a cheesy plum bite peer attraction. Is that twinkle in Whitney's eye a hint of attraction or irritation from the atmospheric fog being pumped into the room? Does he try to this smolder and attempt to win Whitney over, or does he try to de-escalate the romance and encourage a stronger friendship? Keep flirting. <laughs> Nothing says I want to be more than friends than being stuck in a ride with someone while you're serenaded by the smooth sounds of Frank the Flying Womble. <laughs> the two flirt for the entire ride, keeping within respectful boundaries, but also not backing down. Nothing too exciting happened, but something has sparked within Whitney's heart. That could be the perfect opportunity for Agapeel to pursue a relationship. Will they or won't they? Maybe you make it ask to be your girlfriend. Maybe you'll find out in Cove Cards, the sequel. Gained romance between writers started crushing on Ryder. Well, we already knew that no, Agapito had a crush on Whitney anyway. Unless Whitney has a crush on Agapito now. I guess we'll see. Hang on. Nope, it's still the same thing. Oh, is there an option? Or is the, relate or is the romance too early? I know that's what happens when you declare love publicly. You sing to them. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't.
You wanna write the You wanna put Martina in the romance to write Karina? Why not? But maybe it's Tona! No way! So far! Miss Patrobo! Shoot it! Yeah. Nope, I don't see any option to ask to be girlfriend. Twinksy. Super pray? Happy um Pashushi. Girlfriend, actually, because <laughs> Whitney is a girl, and I have her pronoun set, so I don't know why it's popping up as to be boyfriend. It should be girlfriend. I have no words. I'm hoping that can be fixed. <clears throat> yeah. Whitney to be his girlfriend. Sanguinario, Ulak, Akrobak, Sikafus, Apalachaba, Nesca, Kimbushu. And now they're dating. Oh, Eric's still here. Oh my gosh, Alice is making a mess. And Kanika's right there. You tore the milk up. She's got a put. Express disappointment for making a mess. Can you get a parenting level seven? <laughs> oh, Karina fell asleep. Now she got tired. She is old, you now. Martin's gonna go and wake up Karina and see if she wants to go home to the vacation home. Oh, I'm sorry, I got a little tired. Yeah, we can go. You okay? Come on, guys. Stay. I think some of them already <laughs> headed home. <laughs> I think some of them already are, already are home. Yeah, I think Amato and Agapita are back home. Arthur's back home. Whitney is on her way, I think. Or she already might be home. I think Amato watched a boring... Yeah, he watched a boring movie. Yeah, Whitney's definitely tired. Her energy's on red. <clears throat> yep.
Any words, Karina? Hey, Matt, she have? Yeah, she's asleep. And she doesn't know. Well, she does. She's psychic, but... Well, the kids are the last ones home. But since everybody's heading to bed, I think I'm gonna, we'll go ahead and end this part. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to have the notification bell get another time I upload. Teenage Woohoo! I love you all so much. Bye! Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye! <gasps> Bye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. It's Ed and the Ed Lions. I was in the Wonder Years as Kevin Arnold. Thanks for telling me, Fred. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye, it's Edgar. Bye.